chili shrimp hibachi on the blackstone and some garlic butter noodles let's go let me show you guys how to make this recipe you guys this is purely original i invented this recipe i hope you guys like it put a lot of time into prepping and planning this for you guys i really 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 want you guys to give this a try this was amazing the whole family loved it all right let's get it all right what's important is to buy quality shrimp if you look at this shrimp it says u15 that basically means there's 15 shrimps for one pound the higher the count the smaller the shrimp just a tip if you didn't know okay actually i found out from my dad he was a chef and he told me about this so thank you dad all right so to peel these shrimp pretty basic just get into it and peel them take the tail off you don't want that uh, you don't want no one choking or, or having any kind of skin make sure you peel everything it's so annoying if you leave something in there so peel the shrimp right all right we're gonna be using shishito peppers if you've never had them they're delicious go out and get some two tomatoes jalapeno two bell peppers and an onion for the stir fry let's go ahead and start chopping in to these tomatoes pretty basic but you want to have them as long strips so they don't disintegrate when you're cooking them on the blackstone all right these shishito peppers you can leave them in like one inch pieces they're very good, very crunchy, even after you stir fry them. The jalapeno, uh, you're going to want to de-seed this so you're not having people say it's too spicy. You know what I'm saying. All right, this one you can chop it up finer. And I like to just chop it, not super fine, but, you know, fine enough to where it doesn't disintegrate either. All right, and then these bell peppers, we're going to just cut strips long ways same thing with the onion just chop up the onions real quick get these bad boys ready and on your cutting board this is what you're going to be seeing all right next go ahead and fill up a pot of water about three quarters of the way and get you some pasta i use spaghetti that's what i liked all right and you can pretty much cook it halfway and then you can toss it the other way and it, honestly it's still going to cook so it's not really a big deal you guys if you have a bigger pot go ahead and use one I ain't tripping i won't say nothing all right so push that pasta down so it can cook evenly and we got our noodles all ready to go make sure you don't drain the water just yet i'll tell you why later okay so let's go outside all right so we got some soy sauce some soyaki some garlic and some chili crisp sauce and a fresh fresh shrimp from costco so delicious so i had already prepped the blackstone it's on high right now i oiled it and i need to have a brewski when i cook so i got me a modelo all right now get your stir fry out and toss it into your blackstone and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna toss and turn this thing for about five minutes i don't want you guys to overcook these vegetables because that's a big deal because once you get towards the end of the cook they're gonna be soggy so do not overcook these cook them about halfway so let's start with some soy sauce all right start getting some tanginess in there get some color get some garlic in there minced garlic works you get fresh garlic if you want i had minced garlic that's what i use give it a toss give it a turn baby all right next get some butter i just took a small slice of butter i'm not crazy about putting a ton of butter i just put a little bit all right now get some soyaki this is the magic sauce this is the crack man i love this stuff all right anytime you stir fry make sure you have some soyaki all right all right toss and turn that bad boy and it's starting to get some color smelling really really good right now all right so now that they're pretty much halfway i've got my shrimp put my veggies to the side i got my flavor guy which is just like an all-purpose seasoning sprinkle it on the shrimp and on all the veggies spicy chili crisps this is delicious okay that panda has nothing on this all right if you're listening panda you ain't got nothing on this man all right so this shrimp so delicious just put some chili crisps on there and give it a toss give it a turn and make sure you don't overcook the shrimps too cook them about halfway all right and now you can go ahead and put those shrimps to the middle and but first you want to flatten them out get them some char on there before you do that all right and i i went ahead and cooked these shrimps for about five minutes as well everything cooks fast on this blackstone all right the two right burners are off right now starting to cool down keep your two left burners on high put some butter on there and get your boiled noodles out and go ahead and toss them in there and toss it for about five minutes starting to get some color and char on that as well and go ahead and mix your shrimp and all your veggies together at this point all right don't skip don't skip this step all right cover it for one minute and then now you're done 
So at this point, you take it all out and you start plating it. And look at this. I had some fresh cilantro. I didn't show you guys when I cut it, but I did put it on top. And I put some more chili crisps on top just to look so dang presentable. Oh my God. Now this is the moment of truth. Is it good? Let's find out, man. All right, guys, our hibachi shrimp is all done. As you can see, it's looking delicious. So let's give it a bite. Mmm. These shrimp from Costco, things are fire. Let's try these noodles. It's got butter, garlic. You saw what I put in them. Mmm. A nine out of ten right here this is good let's try some of the veggies mm. perfectly caramelized not overcooked still got a snap to them when you're cooking veggies on the blackstone gotta have that snap bet you didn't think you're gonna put these in there oh that gives it a whole nother level all right guys Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and try this recipe out. Let me know if you liked it.